Say, yeah. oh, I don't like this door. Can you fix it? Or can right. you? And that's what I, I used to dress up the set. The biggest thing was to put a picture up straight, like you'd measure mm -hmm. it. Because when you're watching the set, if you see a piece of crooked, and you would actually put tape behind it to keep it steady, because when right. they slammed the door. So that was what I was doing, and then I did lighting, I did sound, wow. I did everything. I, whatever, I was like a utility guy going to the different uh, parts. And then, when you would tell me the story when um, uh, the Blues Brothers, um, Belushi right. and Aykroyd, right? Yeah. They were getting ready to do their... their uh, yeah, well, that was that, This is great. You gotta yeah, hear Yeah, this was filling. what it really... When they did this... This is what it's really They had about. more time to... And I guess a couple of the guests didn't show up, the musical guests. So, uh, Warren Michaels told them, can you kill, like, six minutes? Can so they went up, they went wow. up, and they had uh, some really talented guys, horn guys and stuff, and wow. they did the blue skit. And Bellucci come flying across the stage doing a cartwheel. He... For the size of him, because from all the drugs, he would come in weighing one day two something, the next day 180. He was like, it was and crazy. Did anybody wow. know he was going to do that? Like, uh, no, nobody knew. They just came on and they drove everybody nuts. I mean, we, we were laughing, we were loving it. The music was great. And uh, I give a lot of credit to Jim Bellucci because he did his own thing. When John died, he could have come stepped right in, but he didn't. He does his, he did his own uh, comedy and stuff. And I think maybe in ways he was almost su as successful as John. But he didn't, you know, jump into his grave. You know, he, mm -hmm. he respected his brother. Yeah. He loved him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so sad, yeah. though, when I see that. When, it, when, I, when he died, I was like, oh, my God, that guy was... That guy was, I don't know if you, do you remember him? Yeah, I remember him a little bit. But we, we really remember because yeah. it was more our era. Yeah, of course. And like when he died, I was like, wow, how could it be possible? He's the greatest. No, he, he was just so far. Yeah. Well, his way to see him on a movie or, or yeah, his movie talented. was Animal House. And they did another one, 1941, which was, people didn't understand it, but it was great. But in Animal House, I used to take the ladder and like, instead of, getting down and moving the ladder, I used to take the, and jump on the ladder and go around for the lights, you know? Yeah. But downstairs, they were doing Sue Simmons and the news with Chuck Scarborough. So they were complaining, what's this banging? It was me with the ladder. So then I put cushions <laughs> under the ladder, and I said, jump around. And in the movie, wow. John did that. And he yeah. actually did with the ladder when that girl was changing and he was going around the windows, then he fell over. Yeah. But the funny part, the jello scene that he did, that was me up in the cafeteria. I'd get up, go in, and they'd call me. you got to come back down to the set. So I would get the jello without the spoon. I'd, <laughs> I'd suck it up, you know? So John did that in the movie. Wow. I said, John, you're doing all this stuff. He goes, yeah, well, that's you. I learned it all from you, you slob. You know, and I laughed at me. Wow, it was that's good. so cool. Yeah. You were saying that Lauren Michaels didn't like his skit, though, right? When he did that, when he, when he did that... Flips and everything. Did a lot of stuff. Laura Michaels didn't nobody like. He, said he, he didn't like it. Oh no, know. the thing with the um, he was holding the suitcase and everything. Yeah, with the suitcase with the handcuff on. He it. didn't you really know. like that. He didn't like it, but everything there became so popular. So he put it, and then he what he, that uh, probably after the show. Oh yeah, he learned to like it because it was yeah, successful. Right. right. Yeah. So he really doesn't. He's I a mean, a lot of these guys that are, you know run in these companies, they don't even know themselves. If it's going to be successful, so of most of the time they're not going to say, "Well, they have an idea. Yeah, this is mm -hmm. what's popular. And put this or do this mm -hmm. because this is." But then somebody comes out with something new, and it becomes huge. Like yeah. you know what I mean? You could do something crazy, and people say, "Oh, that." that. They they go, "Wow, everybody likes it." You know? I'm really convinced that he lately he's been pushing the button to see how much he could get away with. I think he's pretty much getting ready to be done with the show because. He's getting older now. He's actually 10 years older than me exactly, almost. Like, I'm 50, I'm 66, and he's got to be 76 now. So, you know, time is uh, of the essence for him. Yeah, yeah, he's got a lot of assistance and stuff doing it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I don't think he's got his heart like he had back yeah. in the 70s and 80s. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, you know, I mean, after a while, you know... Any job could uh, get to you, right? He's doing pretty, pretty much but 50 years. I don't know That's how great, you can stop already. doing a job like that if you're making making big money and, and you know, unless it's really a, you know. You a get, lot of work goes into the show. 
Yeah. And the thing is, I mean, it's very expensive. And yeah, he, but doesn't he have he, he's paying well, yeah, to do but that? He'll change the set like at ten o'clock on a Saturday night. He'll say, "I want a new set." And he'll come in wet. You know, the paint is wet on it, and they'll put it up, and that. So he goes. decides to do that too. Oh, everything, everything. Wow. He, he he had no problem spending money mm -hmm. on the show. He would. Mm -hmm. Put something new, scrap it, uh, amazing. And then he would do a little cameos. What would you say that he he makes uh, on one show, like uh, like on, on a it's Saturday It's hard night. to tell. You know, I, I know Does it like, go by the ratings? It goes by the well, ratings, he's, right? he's got the contract, you know, they pay mm -hmm. him. Oh, they just pay him a contract. contract. Yeah. Oh. And they give him, if the show goes over good, I'm sure there's incentive money for him. I don't know for a fact, but, you know, when you work down there, he puts a lot of hours in. So when you did that, what you... Now, you never did really uh, uh, play the drums. Even though you played drums, you didn't do a lot of gigs in your life. No, I didn't do any gigs. So you just, <laughs> you know how many drummers would have loved <laughs> I know. to be on uh, backup Billy Idol? I mean, I, I oh, worked yeah, with Billy Idol. On, I, I, I jammed with Billy Idol. Uh, you know, he did a show, and then we came on, me and my brothers came on, and we did, a, you know, did our own thing. But, I mean, he was on the show. With, but I'm saying to back him up, it must have been... I was very scared. I was, I was very nervous, and to me, it was like that's crazy. Yeah. Right? I didn't really want to do, do it. it. Right? He's not even a real, you know, a professional, you know, know, professional drummer. Drum, you know, wow. he played drums, right? But he wasn't like you know what I mean. And here he yeah. gets gets a chance to play yeah, well, live was, on SNL. Yeah. Well, I had garage bands, and I had some pretty fair people that weren't. You know, I'm not saying you were good. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. I didn't have my heart in it. I mean... But but yet you stumbled onto having to play yeah. because you were at the right... I was just there at the right time, you know? At the right place at the right time. That happens a lot. Yeah? Right place at the right time, yeah. I, I had a garage a band. I had, and I, had, uh, I had a right place at the right time yeah. at the wrong time. I had a garage band and, <laughs> and the people, the right we had place. a lot of famous people in there. We had Leslie West from uh, Mountain. Yeah. And the original, he was there without the band. And the original uh, Mississippi Queen, the way he did it. Not equality. That good. Oh, yeah. The way he did it was, he said, Mississippi Queen, you know what I mean? Well, they, I was in the garage and I said, We're on show, Frank. <laughs> we just played. We just played the video. Yeah. Oh, awesome! Awesome! So you, the audience me. Yeah, you, we we did. We mentioned you. Um, it's you know, Frank James, guys. The song. It's Miranda's Hi. here. It's he, Frank James on, and you, that's my nephew and godson. That's crazy! I never even knew that until so What land? TV land. Oh, TV land. Okay. TV land. Yeah, you've been at IAS a long time. Yeah. So well, you know what? You, you, you got to come out now and, um, you know, yeah. get yeah. back into the real world. It's, what are you going to do? Well, we all got swamp ratted, right? Even Miranda got bottom fed. Now she's a, she's doing a context, uh, contest for um, uh, Max. Maxim. Maxim, you know? Okay. Yeah, so, all right, so say hello to your audience and we'll, we'll, we'll get on with this. Yeah, we're on now. <laughs> we're live from studio. Everything's live. Everything's live. Yeah. Right. Are, you, are you home? Or are you no, I'm in the studio. A studio doing a show with three cameras in front of us. All right. All right, Frank. Well, we played the video and everybody loved it. Oh, great, great. Even though we don't have an audience, they still loved it. I know they we did. We know they did. You guys did, right? We know you did. We're legends in our own mind, Frank. Yep, it's all up here. Perception. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah I was, I was saying. Time. You know something? That's what. One time I was online, right? I was going to say uh, legends of 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 the apes or something. You know, this guy beyond me go, wow, wow, wow. I says, hey, relax. We're going to see Lord of the uh, Legends of the a uh, uh, legend. Of the apes or something. This cool. Yeah. They, they made a. They make. You know, advertisement could make you make it sound like it's the. You ever go to a movie where they said, "Oh, this is the greatest movie yeah, ever." Yeah, they have to. They have to build themselves up. You know. I know, but uh, that's building, what the industry yeah, is. But, just building yourself. I know, but just, building yourself up and then falling off a mountain. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> it's not that great. It happens. I know. It happens a lot. You know? Yeah, you just gotta get back up. That's the thing. There's not many, uh, you Some know. Some people can't. Oh, I was just saying, can. like the movies, right? I remember, like, um, The Side and Adventure, that was a great movie. Um, mm. You know, um, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, that was a great movie. We see Let It Ride, that was another mm. great movie with uh, 
Tillison, what's her name? Jennifer Tilly. Jennifer Tilly. Jennifer Tilly. Oh, I actually like her. She's yeah, she's good, right? Yeah, yeah, she plays cards good now. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, she's got the money. Nice. <laughs> you want to bet? I'll bet you die. No. <laughs> sure. How much you want to bet? Oh, 400 to 5, don't worry about it. Let it ride. Let it ride. You, you were and, in the middle of the story. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, I had some pretty people at one place. It's like uh, yeah. Mountain, uh, Leslie oh, Wesley. Yeah, he just, he just passed away about uh, three or four months ago. Uh -huh. But the uh, first time he did his version, he did, uh, he said, like, Mississippi Queen. You know, that, that was a garage. That was in, in my garage. Yeah. So I turned around. I mm, had a couple of beers. So I said, why don't you do it like this? Mississippi Queen, you know what I mean. Nice. And he did, and that's on the song, you know. Wow. And, yeah. and it was amazing. You yeah. know? But I never had the ambition. I could, I, I was too much, uh, uh, you know, too much jumping around and stuff. And what I did with the stage yeah. work, I actually was going to be a fireman. I went to the academy. Matter of fact, not to pat myself on the back, but I will. I had a 97 on the written test because my wife went mm -hmm. over with me at the time. Uh, she kept beating into my head because she wanted yeah. me to get a city job. And I got a 99 on the physical. Wow. I'm probably the only person that ever got a 99 on the fireman's uh, physical that year because wow. that was, people were collapsing. A couple of people died. Yeah. It was very, very, it's hard. very hard. It's very but hard. I, I loved it. But the money... I started as a stage here making about 60000 and the fire department was paying like seventeen five. so wow. I made the move. I said, hey, this is three times as much. I need the dough. I mean, I'm wow. married. I'm yeah, a kid. And that was it. Yeah. yeah, but much respect to all the firemen out there. Yeah, I know, but I love the training. Hard. I actually brought a woman back that died. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. A woman collapsed in a supermarket, and I wow. gave her CPR and brought her back. That's good. Wow. That was worth everything. So you could still save people's lives. That's right. Now listen to yeah, this. Now nice. I'm, I'm working with, um, see we're talking about all different things in the business. We're talking about our magazine, you're talking about being on SNL. Right. And meeting these, the, the most famous actors in the world, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I said on my shows, I've been, you know, luck, lucky to get a couple of, and Sure enough, who comes on my show from meeting how I met her, met, um, got him on the show is because the writer from Really Great Magazine, Sandra Castillo, mm -hmm. um, set me up with the drummer for Billy Joel. Wow. So I, and I have a roll in of, that, of, of the interview that I did, and we might as well show it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that is but, but this is Billy Joel's drummer. He played on all the, and you know what happened? He was telling me the story. He didn't get paid for a lot of his uh, recordings. Wow. They, they bought him, fed him, you know, Billy Joel, I guess when he was drunk and he was, you know, he was going off on his own thing. He, he never, you know, he didn't have the money to pay the, I don't know, but whatever happened, he ended up suing um, Billy Joel for like three, four million and he, he won the case. Wow. And this is the interview I had with him. And they're going to, I'll show it to you now. It was in the studio. So, the role 
rolling didn't work. See how, they, how things work? The yeah. rolling didn't work. So what are you going to do? But anyway, we play. We, this is what we, happens. In we, show, we showed the rolling before, you know. And yeah. um, anyway, yeah. Well, anyway, that was uh, Billy Joel's drummer. Yeah. That we were going to see. And yeah. um, he, he, he told me the story about, you know, and, and that's why they're, they're like, they're not really, uh, they're on the outs. Mm. Well, you know, you go through lawsuits and stuff like that. And, uh, well, at least he worked with him and, you know, he did a lot and he made his money and stuff. That was, you know. Yeah. Yeah. That's great that yeah. he had that experience. That experience, and, yeah. you know, made the, made the money and did what he, what he loved. Yeah. Do, so. Oh yeah, and he and he's a great drummer. Yeah, I'm great sure. Drummer. Yeah. Playing for Billy, Billy Joel. Billy Joel, yeah. On yeah. his, you know, Glass album and yeah. Yeah. The all, the, all, the, all the what? The piano man. The piano man, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. He was on all the biggies. But um. That's great. Yeah. So oh, and they did it. Actually, I got a picture of um. On Facebook, they had a picture of all the stuff that we did on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Fred got himself a little book. It's so cute. I got so a book cute. with the video. This, I uh, love it. Miranda, when we did the video, <laughs> we did, um, could you zoom in on that a little? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we did a video. Oh, yeah. Like I said, I can't believe this was like Speaks seven video. years ago. That yeah. was like the first year I met you, basically. Yeah, everything. Yeah, I know. But it was all on. And then, you know, oh, wow. We did the, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah, there's so many pictures. It's so nice, like, to look through all of that. Yeah, look, you got the picture with so um, memories. Musto Palinkovici on mm -hmm. Limitless. Yeah, he was Musto. a CBS. He was on our. He's on our show a lot. CBS star. Yeah, I love Musto. Musto Palinkovici. Yeah. And you know what? Listen, what happened to him? Now you talk about what happened. Everything that possibly could go wrong in this business will go wrong. What happened? <laughs> so you better just keep going forward. Yeah. Well, what happened with him is about a month ago. He calls me up. You know, that's why I came, you know, it's back in Florida and stuff. I was yeah. in Naples, Florida. Oh, if, if anybody wants to go to a cool um, area where they got a great sunset, Naples, Florida, if you catch that sun, mm. sun going down, it's unbelievable. Wow, that's unbelievable. great. Unbelievable. I, I don't know if it's a picture of it in here, but yeah, but um, what was I going to say? Oh, with Musto, right? I was him. He finally gets a uh, sick another sitcom mm. um, on Blacklist. Wow, I love that show. Yeah. Oh my god, I love no, Blacklist. No, they, they want they want to use them. I, li like, I literally they want to use them in a lot of different um, things, scenes and stuff. That's great. But now they got to re. But I'll, I'll explain what happened. He calls me up. He says, "Fred," he says, "I'm going to the city, but I'm not sure. You know, I'm, I'm not feeling that great." But I'm, when he went there, he had the COVID. They test oh, them. They wow. test all the actors yeah, when you get before upset. you go on. Mm -hmm. They have to test you. Yeah, I know. You know, with this, with all this um, craziness that's going on. But anyway, so his, he finally got on uh, another big uh, gig. This is a month or two ago, you said? A month ago. Um, well, I'd, I'd say about a month ago because, mm. yeah, I'm just, yeah, about a month ago. Mm. And... Um, he said, Fred, they, they, they love me and, uh, you know, they wanted to put me on uh, two, two or three different um, scenes, episodes. Wow. And, um, yeah, so they had to, they had to cancel his um, thing. And he says, don't worry about it. When you come back, you know, we'll find... No, so now you got to find a role. You know, you got to find the role. Well, at least they, they still want him to come yeah, back. Yeah, they, they, they like I him a lot. I love that show. Yeah, well, Musso's a great, he's a great... Um, yeah, they were just filming on Staten Island um, recently. But this was like a week or two ago they were on Staten Island. Who? Blacklist. Oh, Blacklist, yeah. Yeah, they were filming on Staten Island. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Musso is brilliant. You know, when we did no, that pool show... No, he's good. Yeah, show, he's a good actor. When we did that pool show and he said, you know, they could print money and everybody could be billionaires... But the only thing is, we'll die. And I said, so I'm listening. And he says, because there'll be nobody to do the crops. There'll be nobody to deliver the food. There'll be of nobody because everybody's rich. They're not going to work. Course. So, I mean, the most brilliant thing that anybody could ever say. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And now with the unemployment, with the bonuses, people don't want to go back to work. If any kid tells yeah. me, I can't find a job today, I'll tell them you're full of it because yeah. everybody's got signs of they want to hire people. The mm -hmm. problem is now they've been all, been all for a year 
and they get they get money from the government exactly, and they get more than they actually were making. Stimulus. Why should we go back to work? Yeah. Why well, don't make six hundred dollars when you can make eight hundred staying home? Yeah, and that's the problem right now. That's yeah. The, did they they did they pay you more money for with being out of work? Um. Yeah. I mean, I got a little bit from unemployment. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, oh, but you were you weren't working steady with the. You were working steady? No, I was I right. was part time with a Barclay Center. Yeah, yeah they just Barclay reopened Center. like I think it was yeah two months ago now or something. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. I haven't I haven't gone back yet. We'll see. I I don't. I mean I love that place, but we'll see what happens. I don't know. See what happens? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to focus on this stuff right now. So. Yeah. So we, you you got to check uh, Miranda. Any I know everybody's on Facebook out there. Check out Miranda, Miranda Tiffany Panda. Yeah, Miranda Panda, Miranda Tiffany, either one. They, they, Miranda they, Tiffany Panda, either yeah, one. Tiffany, yeah, <laughs> and uh, you know, and then click on what do you just click on, right? You click on the, yeah. the link. Yeah, and I've been posting it like every day, so if you guys have me on there, you'll see it. Oh, there's a lot of people. That yeah, are on a bunch it. of my other stuff too. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough though. You don't know if they, you know, somebody could come on and put. Uh, False clicks too, yeah, right. If you no, no like I said, it, it, yeah. If you well, people could put money on it. That's that's how they could like not cheat, but that's how they could get ahead. If you have somebody that puts like a ton of money, you know, in in the voting thing um, to donate to wounded warriors, uh, you could get ahead like that with the yeah, votes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have money, you know. That's what everything these days, right? Like, <laughs> you have money, you can do like anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And connections, money well, and connections. No, well, you know what? I know a lot of people that had money during the COVID. They couldn't do. They did less than we did. Oh well, yeah. I mean, something like that you must did, really humble a lot of travel, people. You couldn't travel. You couldn't, you know. Because it just stopped everything. You so no matter on. how much money you have, it still kind of like stopped yeah. you. Well, that's it. It's, in your it tracks. puts you in uh, in light that money isn't everything. You have to yeah, see, exactly. You have to it humbled a lot through. of people. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, listen, it helps to have money coming in. and, and but, Yeah, it does help, yeah. But it's not it's not everything, right? That's right. No, yeah. I mean, a lot of people who had money lost family members and stuff. So oh, it's like, oh, that's not going to bring your family members back just because you have money. The people, the, the friends that I lost during the year, family, forget about it. It's, it's horrible. Yeah, but, I know. You know, everybody's going through it. What, what are we going to do? That's why, you know, we're getting back. We're doing the shows. And, and you know, life goes on. you got to just... You know, yep. do the Humor best, do the best thing you could do, right? Universal oh, yeah. thing that keeps everybody going. And yeah, yeah. comedy and music, comedy, yeah. you could relate to people. You could talk to people well, they're going to bring English and they know the music. They're yeah. going to bring back Broadway, but now they're going to bring it back. Well, I don't know why they're going to bring it back now. They're saying in September. Maybe they got to practice and everything there. It takes a lot to get it going because yeah. the yeah. lighting. They're, also, they're waiting. Yeah. They're slowly, like, uh, I mean, I don't know if it's slow enough, if it's fast enough, but they're slowly ish trying to open up they're not trying to just like do it right away you know well, all yeah. the rigging and stuff all the ropes so, and stuff that they gotta pull they gotta be doing more because sitting dormant for a year the rope rusts. that's true too yeah so it's gonna all right pete i want to ask you what at all the, uh, how many years did you work for well, I got about Saturday Night Live? 20 25 25 years okay who who inspired you the most that you were there that you've seen, like actors or... Oh, Robert I mean, Williams. He was oh, Robert my Williams. God. Robert Williams. Williams and Milton uh, Burrow, he was on a show. He came Milton on. Burrow, yeah. I actually was... One day, Milton Burrow, George Burns, and Robert Williams were standing in the corner, and they were talking, and Robert Williams walked away, and they said, this is the most talented guy. Now, Milton Burrow was known for not giving out compliments to anybody but himself. I mean, mm -hmm. he was a great... Comedian. I mean, he was the first guy yeah. to cross dressed. I mean, wow, you know, so yeah. it was uh, I mean, really they paid a lot of tribute to him. How oh, he, of course. a lot of people don't know what he uh, did. We want to thank uh, Pete DiMaffetta, right, for uh, coming on. Thank to, you. It was a pleasure being Miranda, here. Miranda, my co host, I um, wish her a lot of luck for the for the magazine. And but she's going to be a, you're going to be thank doing movies and everything, right? I hope so. Yeah. That's where I'm. That's what I'm working towards right now. I got well, a bunch of stuff going on. So yeah, you can't quit. You got to keep going. Yep. There's nothing you know. Yep. You only as you only as good as your last gig. That's right. Though. That is true, actually. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I was on stage with Chuck Berry with ten thousand people, and the next day I was at the Lancaster Lounge.